Hello there. I'm just after getting off the phone with Daniel Kinahan. Uh, he's just informed me that the biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Get up there, my boy! Uh, big shout out, Dan. He got this done. Um, literally over the line. Two fight deal. Uh, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua um, next year. One problem. I just got to smash Deontay Wilder's face right in in the next fight. Um, and then we go into the Joshua fight next year. So there we are. The Gypsy King versus AJ is on for next year. But there is a hurdle in the road called the Bronze Bomber, a.k.a. the Knockout King. And I will get on to him and knock him spark out. And then we got on to the big fight. So big thank you, Dan, for getting this deal over the line. All the best. God bless you all. See you soon. Peace out. I know you said there's nothing to report, but we've we've done interviews with Bob Arum. He says that it's close. Eddie Hearn says they're ready to sign. Josh has had his little bit on Twitter and stuff like that, saying that he's in it for the long run. You're a showman. He's going to close the show and stuff like that. So the these, if we can take Bob Arum and obviously Eddie Hearn and what Josh was saying, we're getting a little, we're getting our hopes up, if you know what I mean. But on your side, Tyson Fury's side, you said there's nothing to report. Well, let's break it down, shall we? Okay, to bare minimum. Eddie Earns a boxing promoter, so is Bob Arum. It's their job to sell the fight. Joshua is saying what he's saying, I don't know what he's saying, I don't, don't, I'm not on social media at the moment at all. Um, so whatever they say is very unimportant to me. Until I've got a date, a fight, and I hit a load of money in my pocket, there's no fight. There's, there's, there's a lot of things going on, what people don't know behind the scenes, um, that can, can scupper a fight like that. Mm -hmm. So nothing's actually on until you're actually in the ring. So yeah, we're nowhere near that at the moment. The Gypsy King versus AJ is on. Yeah, that was that was about a year ago where, when it was just a fantasy, you know, where you can just talk about. It. But now, the closer we get, the more and more positive news we get, the less negative, not the more negative Tyson Fury becomes. <laughs> The less enthusiasm he shows towards, towards the fight. You saw when um, it was just air, when they had the agreement. The Look how excited it was. Oh, uh, get in there, my boy. But, oh, get where's all that getting there, my boy? What, what? That was a year ago. You, AJ had a fight booked, so did you. You had a fight booked too. Why were you so excited back then, but now you're all Mr. Negative? That only means one thing to me. You know what that means. Scared. Spooked out. This guy's brought up everything. He's brought up money, he's brought up COVID, he's brought up um, promoters, he's brought up um, mysterious figures in a shadow in the background that people don't know about. He's brought that up too. He's brought up inactivity, um, he's brought up pints of beers. He's, listen, do you want to fight or don't you want to fight? We don't care about any of that stuff. Is the fight going to take place or not? Are you like itching to go now or? Uh, no, I'm not training anymore. No? I'm packed in at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, not, I'm not training no more. I've never stopped training since uh, December 2017. And even after these world title fights, I, I train the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. I go running 10 miles on stupid things and do a million press ups and circuits. And I'm in the gym sparring and messing around. So I'm having some time away from the game at the moment because, like I say, I've been ready to fight since I beat Deontay Wilder yeah, like, sure, yeah. last year. So I've had no no success in getting a, another fight, which is not down to much, it's down to the COVID and a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, um, at the moment, I'm just concentrating on getting me 10 pints of Stella to 12 um, <laughs> every day. Yo, what's wrong with this guy? He's just, just talking a whole bunch of, I, I don't... One minute, one minute, he, he's not training, he's drinking, he's trying to take his 10 pints to 12. Fair enough, if that's where you're on, that's where you're on. The next minute, oh, he, he's been training hard. He's been training hard, he's only about to stop right now. So when when were you drinking the, the 10 pints if you're just about to stop training now? So he, it's not making sense. And then they ask him, well, when's the last time you sparred? He said, oh, I just sparred yesterday. So, okay, okay, let, let's, let's entertain this guy for a second. Who is he actually mad at? Who is he... What's this? What's this issue? What's this issue? Is, is that not his team's fault if things are taking long? If he didn't fight in December, that's his own team's fault. So I don't, I don't get the angle. I don't get the oh, they're taking, they, they play, they're messing me around. They're taking so long. Everyone is saying the fight's about to happen, but I haven't heard anything yet. So why, why, why are you the only one being messed around? 
Why are you the only one that don't have any information? You guys just talking rubbish. It's just, it's just all over the place. It's, just, it's panicked if you ask me. It's spooked out. These guys always tend to act all, you know, they just act all out of character. Well, for Tyson, this is kind of in character, but all these heavyweights, they all seem to just lose their, lose their shit when it comes to AJ. I don't, I don't understand it. What, what is it about this guy that strikes fear upon these other heavyweights? What is it? What is it? Tyson, do you want to fight or don't you want to fight? Are you available in June or are you not available in June? What's up? Why are you talking about fighting eight rounders in um, a trilogy with Wilder and um, fighting whoever? Listen, AJ, that, that's the fight we want to see. You, are you fighting AJ or what? Focus on the AJ fight. AJ talks. Anthony Joshua, undisputed fight. We don't want to hear no Wilder talks. We don't want to hear no eight rounders. We don't want to see you fight none of those regular bums you usually fight. Nobody want to see that. Talk about the AJ fight. What's the frustration about? What are you frustrated about? Focus on getting the fight made. Positivity. Do you want to have the fight or don't you want to have the fight? Ridiculous. I've only got what have I got left now. I'm 32 years old. I'm at the tail end of my career, getting too long in the tooth for this game. Um, I need to just fight whoever's available out there. Joshua Wilder, White, whoever's available to have a, have a dust up with me. You, you remember after the, the Pulis fight when AJ was asked, oh, so what's next? Who are you fighting next? And he goes, listen, I want the WBC belt. I want the undisputed fight. So if it's Tyson Fury, let it be Tyson Fury. Do you want that fight? Last year, right? Uh, 2019. Look, bro, I started this game in 2013. I've been chasing all the belts. I've been dealing with mandatories. Of course, I want a challenge. It's not about the opponent. It's about the legacy and the belt. Whoever's got the belt, I'd love to compete with them. If that is Tyson Fury, let it be Tyson Fury. There you go, everyone. Anthony Joshua just shit himself live on television. He got asked did he want the fight and he went around the bushes and put his ass on the edge. I want the fight. I want the fight next. I'll knock him out inside three rounds. He's a big bum dosser. Can't wait to knock him out. And immediately Tyson Fury was clapping back on social media. Like, oh, see, the guy didn't want the fight. AJ just crapped himself live on TV, blah, blah, blah. And everybody jumped on it. If you remember, IFL TV interviewed a whole string of people for the next, say, two to three weeks saying, oh, why, was, why did AJ not say M. Fury's name? Do you think AJ was scared? Do you think AJ don't want the fight? You remember that, right? Isn't this the exact same thing Fury's doing now? Saying, oh, oh, we can just, um, I don't, if it's AJ, I can fight AJ, I can fight um, Wilder, I can fight Dylan White. Dylan White? He can fight, the undisputed fight. What are you talking about Dylan White for? What, what's wrong with this guy? Dylan White's got um, Povetkin. What, what are you talking about you want to fight Dylan White? What's wrong, what's wrong with Tyson Fury, man? <laughs> And now you can clearly see why AJ don't want to throw all his eggs in the Tyson Fury basket. Because look, this guy's all over the place. He can't be trusted. He can't be trusted. So this is exactly why he didn't want to say his name. Because you don't know what you're going to get from this guy. He, does he want to fight or does he not, does he not want to fight? If he, does, if he don't want to fight, just come out and tell us. It's fine. Let's move on. This fight, not got, if it's not going to happen, let's just move on. Let's all move on. Stop with the, the tomfoolery. No one cares about all your stupid crap. Only a section of special, you know, low low IQ fans find any of this funny. This stuff that he does. It's, it's not. I don't find any of it funny whatsoever. You just you sound. I don't even want. I don't want to say. It, but you 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 sound nuts. Nuts. The the funny thing as well is. You know, um, when people speak to this guy, no one ever says, hey, wait, hang on. What you just said don't make sense. I thought you just said, but I thought you just, nothing. They just laugh and giggle with him. <laughs> Tyson. <laughs> like, what? The guy's chatting pure crap in front of you. Challenge the guy. What, what, what's, what's up with his interviewers and all this, um, this media people? What, what, what's with the, all this passes Fury always gets? He never gets challenged. Someone's just talking utter crap in front of you. What? You don't challenge them? You don't, you don't, you, a light bulb don't go over your head? Nothing? Nothing? You just let them get away with it? Ridiculous. Anyways, as usual, force in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you're new here. You know the drill. Notification bell, click that. And yeah, I'm out.